Hi, I'm Tim from realwebsitehints.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to develop multiple WordPress websites on your Mac at the same time. If you haven't already installed MAMP, check out my video here, which will show you how to do it. If you already have MAMP up and running on your computer, let's get started. So, this is where we ended up last time with our RWH Demo 2 site. Let's go ahead and add another site. The first thing we need to do is to add another database for our new website. Make sure the server is running by looking for the two lights at the top right of the MAMP window. If it's not running, click the Start Servers button. If it is running, just go ahead and click the Open Start page. Okay, so we'll go to Tools, PHP My Admin, then we'll click on Databases, and then we'll go create a new database and we'll call it Site2. We'll click Create. So now we've got Site 2 created. So now that we have the database created for our site, we need to add new WordPress files into our site. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll go back to the map again. Um, it's just sort of the fastest way I find to get to the folder we need to get to. We just click on here, and we're in our HT Docs folder. And what we need to do is we need to create a new folder, and we're going to call it Site 2 because that's what we called. That's what we're going to call this site. Now you don't want to just copy the WordPress files from this RWH Demo 2 because now it has that config file in there which has all the configurations for this site. So we need to put new WordPress documents in there. So I'm going to go back to the folder where I originally downloaded the WordPress information from and I'm going to copy these files into the Site2 folder. And that's why I always copy the files, that way I've got a copy of them on my computer ready to go to install another site. Okay, so let's install the site too. Let's go back to our web browser here, and we'll just go to the local host 8888. And now we've, you see we've got two sites here now, so let's click on site two and get it set up. So let's create a configuration file. Let's go. Okay, so we need to put in a database name, so we'll call it, um, the database we created was called site two. The password for our MySQL database is on our Mac is root and the password for the database is root. And localhost is still the same and wp underscore is still the same. Click submit and let's install WordPress. Okay, we'll give it a site title. We'll put a space in there since it's the title of the site. We'll create a username for this site. And a password and enter in our email address and we'll just uncheck the privacy it's just a good idea when you're developing your site to undo that and we'll do install WordPress and we'll log into this new site we just created Okay, so here we go. We've got Site 2 running. Um, we can visit Site 2. It says, hello world. We've got Site 2 up here. Let's go back and see what RWH Demo is doing. All right, so RWH Demo's here, and let's go visit Site. There we go. We've got RWH Demo running, and we've got Site 2 running. So now we can develop two different WordPress websites at the same time. It's important to remember that each website needs to have its own folder and that you cannot just move those folders around or copy the files from one place to another because the files in the folder and the files in the database are tied together and have, uh, have information linking the two of them. So if you need to move your WordPress website, the easiest thing that I have found to do is to use the Backup Buddy, Buddy plugin. And at the end of this video, you'll see a link to the How Do You Move Your WordPress website. Check out the description below for links related to this video, you can always go to realwebsitehints.com for a detailed blog post on the steps featured in this video. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for the latest tips and techniques to make your web development easier.